Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, we will continue our discussion on different nursing skills. If you missed the first part, you can check the link in the description below. If you're ready, let's start! The first nursing skill is suctioning. It is the aspiration of secretions through a catheter that is connected to a suction machine. Note, the frequency of this procedure is as needed only, or PRN. Hyperoxygenate the patient before and after the procedure to prevent hypoxia. For a conscious patient, you can instruct them to perform deep breathing while for the unconscious patient, you can use the ambu bag. Observe sterile technique to prevent or minimize the infection. For the proper position, for conscious patient, position the patient in a semi-fowler's position. For unconscious patient, position the patient in a lateral position. Apply suction intermittently during withdrawal. Suctioning should only last for 5 to 10 seconds. If it needs to be repeated, give a 20 to 30 seconds interval. Torus synthesis. It is the removal of excess fluid, air, blood, or pus in the pleural cavity. Note. The proper positions during the procedure are sitting position with arm placed above the head, or top neck position, side lying position to the unaffected side. Chest x ray is used to determine the exact site. Instruct the patient to inhale and hold the breath upon insertion and withdrawal. During the procedure, it is important to inform the patient not to move and remain still. Maintain a septic technique. Watch out for respiratory distress and hypotension. To prevent hypotension, the physician should not remove greater than 1,000 ml of fluid for the first 30 minutes. After the procedure, put a gauze to the side and instruct the patient to avoid deep breathing, coughing, or any straining activity. This is to avoid leakage from the pleural cavity. The proper position after the procedure is side-lying position to the unaffected side. Enema A solution is introduced into the rectum and large intestine. Types Cleansing enema. This is done to clean the bowel for the preparation for the surgery or diagnostic test. Carminative enema. This is done to expel flatus. Retention enema. This is done to patient with fecal impaction and severe constipation. Solutions are retained in the bowel for about 30 minutes to 3 hours. Lastly, is the return flow enema. There is an alternating inflow and outflow solution. This is done to irrigate the colon, cleanse the bowel, and expel flatus. Note, instruct the patient to slowly and deeply inhale to facilitate the insertion. Insert the tube for approximately 3 to 4 inches. If cramping occurs during the procedure, inform the patient that it is normal. Then stop temporarily for 30 seconds, then resume but in a slow pace. Catheterization It is the insertion of a catheter through the urethra into the urinary bladder. Purposes This is to empty the bladder, 
to obtain urine specimen and to manage incontinence. Note, position for male, position the patient in the supine position, while for female, it is dorsal recumbent. Size for child, it is French 8 to French 10, while for adult, it is from French 14 to French 16. Length of insertion. For male, approximately 7 to 8 inches, while for female, it is approximately 4 inches. Instruct the patient to slowly and deeply exhale to facilitate the insertion and during removal. Common complication, especially for female patients, is UTI. Common causative agent is the Escherichia coli. Medication administration. Important principles in administering medications. It is the six rights. Right medicine, right dose, right patient, right time, right route, and right documentation. Be knowledgeable and accountable about the medications. Before administering the medications, identify the patient first. The nurse who prepares the medication should be the one who will administer it. When a medication error occurs, assess the patient first, then report it immediately. For blood transfusion and CTT key points, you can check the link in the description below or you can visit my channel after this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.